Hi there, my fellow Java programmer. In this episode, you're going to learn how to keep your feature branch up to date with the latest changes from, say, the master branch, but without using merges for that, because merges can make your git commit history a bit ugly to read, and instead you're going to use rebases. And rebases allow you to preserve a nice, clean, and shiny git commit history, so let's find out how that works. Okay, so back in the git for the scare project, create a new branch and call it a feature branch. Imagine you're working on some sort of a new feature. And then let's put in a feature, so feature two, just a method. And um, right, you just print something out to the console, call it feature two, commit. Then add another feature, feature three maybe. That's also to do. And one more commit and make sure to commit and push. So you'll also create the branch on the remote repository. It's these two commits, feature two and feature three, which should be pushed, right? You push them and you're good to go. Now switch back to the master branch. And imagine someone does a bug fix or an update on the master branch. So public void update, or let's say bug fix, string to do. Also, again, you print out to do. It doesn't make too much sense to methods, but uh, we're only interested in the commits. So you commit that, bug fix. You also commit and push. And now let's have a look at the git log. And when you open it up, you'll see, well, that was the last commit you started from. That was the reset commit. And then you had, uh, you have a new branch. It's called feature branch. It's on the remote repository origin and you have it locally. And you have these two commits, feature two, feature three. Additionally, you have a bug fix commit, which is only on master branch and the remote repository master branch. And you can see that the master branch and the feature branch basically diverge, uh, starting with the reset commit. And what you now could do is you could go back to the feature branch and then merge all the changes from the master branch into the feature branch, which in the end will lead you to have one merge commit. And that merge commit at the top here will have two parents. It will have the bug fix parent and it will have the feature three parent uh, unifying these two branches, so to speak. But there's a different way to accomplish the same goal and that's rebasing. And rebasing basically means is you have feature two, feature three, and instead of them basing upon the reset commit, you just want to move them up and base them upon the bug fix commit. So you have a linear history and no merge commits anymore and no diversions and whatnot. Let's see how that works. So you switch back to the feature branch, you check out, you open up the branches window again, you click master, and then there's an option saying rebase current on two selectors. Let's try that. Now you get a merge window open. Let's see why that happens. So you hit merge. And as you can see, there's the one commit feature two, and there's the bug fix method you added in the master branch. You want both, or you want to keep both. So add them both. There's another merge window popping up. So you merge. And this time it's the feature three commit. And you also want to have that and the bug fix commit. So let's add that too or both methods again, and now you're done. Now that looks a bit complicated down here, but first of all, let's talk about why you got these two merge windows pop up. And that's because, well, Git doesn't just cut out these two feature commits and adds them on top of the latest commit, but rather it takes each individual commit and runs it or rebases it against the latest commit. And that's why in feature two, if you open it up, you saw you added the feature two methods in the feature two commit. In the feature three commit, you add the feature three methods. So you take that commit, run it, rebase it against the bug fix commit. The bug fix commit also 
add a new method at the same position in the file. It's a bug fix method. That's why you had a merge config and you had to merge. And you have that to do that for both commits, basically. Now, now let's talk about the window down here. What does that mean? It basically means locally your feature branch has a feature three, feature two, and bug fix commit. And as you can see, it's just exactly as we wanted. The feature three and two commits are based on the bug fix commit. There's no diversions anymore. It's just a straight line. Then your remote repository and your local master branch are on the bug fix commit. So that's that. And you still have uh, the feature branch remotely. So that's why it says origin slash feature branch here has the diversion. And it's the feature three and feature two commits living separately from the master branch. All right, let's try and fix that by pushing everything to the feature branch. Push. And you see a message saying push of current branch was rejected. Remote changes need to be merged. It's actually not the right error message. It's rather that you basically rewrote the git commit history here. And now git doesn't simply let you push all the changes to the remote repository because someone else could have been doing changes to the remote repository. And then you'd have a big problem. That's why you need to basically force your push to the remote repository. So open up a terminal window because you cannot do it from inside IntelliJ, which is a shame. Do a git push and then do a force with lease. That wasn't right, so do a force with lease. What's the difference to a normal force? A force will just push your changes to a remote repository. Doesn't matter if someone else did any changes, you will just override everything. Force release will check if someone else did some changes to the remote repository. And if that's the case, it will abort the push. And then it's time for plan B, which we'll talk about in later episodes. But for now, let's try that git push force release. As you can see, that worked because no one else pushed to the same branch on the remote repository. And now when you open up the version control window again, you'll see a nice, actually a very nice uh, git history. So your local master branch and on the remote repository, the latest commit is the bug fix commit. And then you have feature two, feature three, based on the bug fix commit, just a straight line, just exactly what you wanted. And as you just saw, rebasing makes sense if you mainly work on a branch alone, you wanna get rid of the merge commits and just wanna rebase onto the latest commits. But if you're working with several developers, you can run into problems rather easily. So you should avoid rebasing. But that's all there is to it. Congratulations, you now know how to work with rebases and how to push with a lease. And up next is another concept that's helpful when you work with other team members, and it's called cherry picking. So let's get right after it.